What is going on guys? How's everybody doing? So I am enjoying SoCal traffic, discovering it. It's kind of close to Toronto traffic, but just a little worse. Actually, no, it, it's actually better because it's nice weather. Toronto, it's like shitty weather, but heavy traffic. Passing the gridlock, I am heading over to Metroflex over in Long Beach to go train with Nimai Delgado. So he's training for the Arnold right now. Dude is shredded. A buddy from Instagram, we were doing shout outs for one another and uh, I met the dude at Gold's when I went and trained with Troy for Superhuman. I'm heading over that way now, pretty excited. We're gonna hit a chest and bicep session. We're gonna see how that goes. Guys, this guy is the real deal. He is a vegan, never eaten meat. Crushes that vegan community, the guy is a beast so super excited to train with the dude it's gonna be a fun time and i heard metroflex is a killer gym anything new just another day i also have a little surprise it's funny my boy the tall one nicholas from back home the guy i was out with at halloween i'll put another picture up <laughs> he is flying down this wednesday to see me and we got a hotel in los angeles so we're gonna kill it. I am stoked. So I am here till Tuesday. Let's make the best of it. I'll see you guys at Metroflex. All right, guys. So we're out here at Metroflex, out in where are we? Long Beach. Long Beach, California. Long yeah. Beach. You said we're in the hood. We're in the hood, man. That's oh it. yeah. I know yeah. Kevin and I was like, eh. <laughs> all right. It's my boy here. I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Yo, what's up, guys? Dmy Delgado, vegan, IFBB pro. Uh, about two weeks out from the Arnold right now. Sick. We're gonna do some chest. So we're killing chest. Oh yeah. And a bit of biceps. You know yeah, what I mean? Gotta get that arm in. So let's see it. It's like.
so that's it for the workout. Chest and biceps. I'm drained. Done. How are you feeling? Oh man. That was a good workout. That was I good, guys. I think it's time to eat. Well, I'm gonna eat. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Well, we can't, we can't even figure out which exercises <laughs> we do anymore. So I'm gonna try and eat some vegan meal here. Let's yeah. see how this goes, guys. I hope you enjoyed that workout. I'll see you at dinner. Alright, guys. So we are here at Ahimsa. Or Ahimsa. Ahimsa. We're at Ahimsa having a nice vegan post workout meal. Let me show you here. Yeah, there you go. Okay. It's in the frame. <laughs> shaky. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna let Nimai explain what we're eating here. Yeah, okay, so you got the same thing that I got, but you got it in a bowl. So we got avocado, steamed vegetables, uh, we got kale, tempeh, which is gonna be the protein source, so it's basically fermented soybean, but it's actually, it, it tastes bomb. And then you got some kind of salad dressing on there, some sesame seeds. All right, it's good stuff. I got like the same thing, but just without the rice in there, just because I'm trying to watch my carbs a little bit more. So I just got alfalfa, avocado, tempeh, cucumber, tomatoes. It's bomb. All the good stuff, all it's the good, all good stuff. Nimai is, what, two weeks out? Yeah, two weeks out. Two weeks out for the Iron Classic. So let's wish them the best of luck. I'm gonna link them in the description and everything. See you guys after. See you guys. <laughs> so shaky. Alright, so we are in Laguna Beach today, enjoying the uh, windiest day yet. Uh, we were just at the deck over here, and we had to leave because it's so fucking cold. I'm complaining now, my blood's thinning. You can probably not even hear me right now. Nick, how are you liking California so far? Love it. It's not snowing. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's not as warm as I thought. So, a little underdressed. Still better though, he's not complaining. Still, yeah, still, still, still <laughs> way better than, still way better than Toronto. Still way better than Toronto. Yeah, so he hasn't actually been to LA yet. We are going tomorrow which is really exciting, so we have a hotel until Monday when he leaves. We have been around in Orange County, so today we are going to just kind of bounce around restaurant to restaurant, have some drinks. Indoors now, we thought we could handle the deck, but we couldn't, I don't know, we're ashamed of ourselves. I also bought a In-N-Out annual 2018 t-shirt. How bomb this is. That's what's up, I actually bought that. So I think we're going to a restaurant called Nick's, because, might as well, it's Nick's. Oh my God. What? Oh my God. What is going on YouTube? So I know I've been absent for a little bit. We're gonna be back at it. So I had a bit, the reason why it's cutting from that previous clip to this is if you didn't read already, I had a bit of a malfunction with my camera. I ended up dropping it. I broke the lens. There's the last couple of days there. So I had my buddy Nick come down from Toronto. It was pretty crazy. Uh, I took a few vacation days, experienced LA. I would love to have showed you what we did. So I'm gonna try and update you guys on a little bit of a story that something crazy happened on the second last night I was there. So a few days after I broke my camera. So a little bit of a story time here. We went to a sushi place called Katana. The food was absolutely incredible. It was so good. And uh, they ended up moving our table. So we were getting into it a little bit. Uh, it was my first time trying sake. So uh, I realized how good it was quickly. We had a lot of these, you know, it's like sushi dishes and like just these share dishes and whatnot. The food was phenomenal. But we were dying beside this couple and I didn't really know who they were. They're pretty quiet. We were getting a little rowdy because we were just getting rowdy. This is Uply Misaki. His girlfriend ended up recommending a dish. So we ordered it and it ended up being really good. So I decided to grab them two shot glasses so we could, you know, cheers them with some sake. By me grabbing them the two extra shot glasses, uh, we ended up getting into conversation, realizing who they were. So it was the comedian Michael Blackson. It was funny as hell because he's in a massive beat with Kevin Hart and I despise Kevin Hart. Don't hate me for it, but I don't like him. He's just not funny. He's in a huge beef with Kevin Hart, so I found that pretty cool, because I could kind of funnel my dislike for Kevin Hart through him. So he decided after like, you know, finishing that off with some dessert, laughs, cheers, and a few more shots of sake, we were going to Floyd Mayweather's birthday party, which was held at this roller derby rink, if you didn't see on TMZ. But 
It was incredible. So we hopped in his Rolls Royce, <laughs> went over to this roller derby. Money team was everywhere, security was flourishing. So we stood around, it was cool, it was amazing, you know, seeing Floyd and you know, just dancing around on skates and just all these people. It was such a good time, really good vibes. And everybody started like crowding out. So we like left the room that we were in, or left the balcony that we were on, and Drake just rolls through from the six and pops in casually to, you know, say hi or whatever. So I ended up meeting him. That was super, super cool. And then after that, I didn't think it can get any better, but Floyd was actually coming through off the um, derby rink. Everybody had to move, and I don't know if I was just in the right place at the right time when he was walking through. I ended up meeting Floyd face to face, and uh, he gave me a hug, and it was crazy. So it was such a cool experience. Yeah, it, it just, I don't know how that night from sushi turned to that. So after that, we went to a club called Argyle. Uh, we stopped at In-N-Out, got a few more burgers. He waited outside in his Rolls Royce for me to get my In-N-Out burgers to take to the club. Because I'm a fat ass and I like burgers more than drinking. So we ended up going to this club, and TMZ was out there, like all these, it was, it was insane. Oh, he's training. Adrian Broner is going to train me. Mayweather turned me down. So between Adrian Broner and Deontay Wiley, they both want to train me, so I'm going to knock his low ass out. <laughs> he's a miniature. I got to just hit him top of the head like Duncan Kong. Like, boom, boom. Hey, I don't think you're in the same weight class. I know. I just got to work out, man. I've been out of sh That night went from, you know, having this, like, sushi, just mild kind of dinner, you know, enjoying time with some friends. And they started, you know, they were nice. They recommended a dish. Dish turned out to be amazing. And we just, you know, being nice to somebody. And I guess that happens in L.A., right? If you just open up or, you know, you don't judge people or just kind of open up and not really care. And, I, you know, bought them a few shots. And before you knew it, you're at Floyd Mayweather's party. Those opportunities can happen. You just have to be open to a lot of things around you and less closed off because they do happen. And I, I didn't think it could, but that was crazy. And then the following night was kind of recovering from that night and packing up everything. I had so much shit to pack up. My bag was 100 pounds, 100 pounds. Flew home and here I am. I am getting back on track with diet and I am going, mark my words, sugar-free until early April. So I'm going sugar-free and alcohol-free until the beginning of April. So I'm gonna go a whole month without it. Shouldn't be a problem. I'm kind of like alcoholed and sugared out and burgered out from LA, <laughs> but I'm not complaining. It was, it, was, it was one of the best times of my life, but it just led to crazy amounts of motivation and it makes me want to drive even harder and harder and harder and want to reach my goals quicker. I even, I have new goals now and it just opened up a whole new world to me. There's so much opportunity out there. So it is crazy motivation. Instead of saying, you know, oh, I wish I had, I'm gonna get it. It's, it's, it's good. So, so here's to that grind every day, guys. I know you guys do it all the time and I want you to keep killing it. You guys motivate me more than anybody ever. I owe you guys a big thank you and I love you guys. I don't know how I do it without you. I just wanna cheers to that with some morning coffee. I'm hoping to bring you so much more this year. I have a lot planned, a lot of new stuff in the works. So stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog here and the workout and this little kind of story. I'm sorry about the camera and I apologize, but shit happens. I not much I can do, so it's time to make up for it with some killer videos. Don't forget to hit that subscribe. Don't forget to smash that like. I'll see you next time, guys.